a city like Detroit. When, when I see those buildings, I see it as an opportunity for the potential of either art or another business, or it, it can either be better than it once was or be rehabilitated to its former glory. My mom just kind of took a notice of my artistic talents and nurtured that by essentially putting me in like art related schools. And then from there, I was training myself to go into college. Um, once I got there, I just kind of understood that like, it cost a lot to go to school and ended up taking what I thought was a break, but ended up just being me dropping out. When you get out into the real world, you understand that everything kind of just operates as a business. And um, once you get that mindset and apply it to like a day-to-day -day kind of schedule and regimen, you, you just get creative entrepreneurship. Some of the things that I do as a creative entrepreneur are based around mural arts, music art direction and design, community activism and leadership, as well as my team, who's a team of photographers, chefs, carpenters, music producers. I think just having a team of individuals that do what they love really gives a strong foundation for a sense of family and community and peer-to-peer -peer mentorship that really helps guides us to be not only a better team, but better individuals. We developed another program, which was Leaders Amongst Leaders. Um, that started as an idea, essentially to give um, access to the youth uh, intergenerationally. Um, just being able to afford the opportunity for a high school kid that you know was probably in the position that I was in or my friends was in, to have access to some opportunities they, they may not have been able to afford or their parents may not be able to afford and really give them that foot up into um, what their passion or you know career interests may be. My art is reflective of love and self and others in the in the sense that it pays homage to a lot of ancestral backgrounds. Um, not only the indigenous backgrounds of myself and my ancestors, but those and others that I have met during my life. So just being able to mix and mingle those tribes just kind of reflect and mirror who um, the people of today represent. And it gives a sense of um, not only pride, but royalty and, and just understanding that royalty you, you know that the future can only be brighter. So the approach I took to my van sneaker was essentially like utilizing that same sense of royalty and black excellence. The image that I put on the toe box is distinctive of a plant love um, symbolization and metaphor that uh, essentially putting the roots in the ground, understanding your roots, um, planting love in your community, planting love in yourself when you know you're styling up.